He's an outcast, he's a bit different. Um, he's a fantasist, a drinker. You know, he's a doer. Um, he's a storyteller, he's a lad, you know. He's a bit rock and roll, I suppose, if he was, you know, he's a bit Pete Doherty, you know. Um, he's got that side to you where he's a bit of a mess. There's still something quite endearing, something very interesting about him because he is so different and people are scared of him because he's different. Um, but they're also intrigued and attracted. I play Peter Gint in the second half and it, he goes from a kind of, what it says middle age in the script, whatever that means, um, to near death. Because <laughs> the play follows him from, you know, a guy who's on the end of his teens, you know, early 20s, and then, you know, we see Pierre as an older man who then deals with the consequences of, of his actions uh, throughout his earlier life. It's downhill all the way, really, when I, when I take the character over in the second half. Practically speaking, it, it, you know, it, I suppose it puts it in a believable context that, you know, there's two actors playing the, the, the young and old. But what's wonderful about both of them, and, you know, I mean, it's hard, <laughs> it's slightly hard for me because I'm probably 20 years older than Keith, you know, to maintain the same kind of energy because the character is incredibly energised. The energy that both Jerry and I have, it's been common that we're, we're very similar. Uh, so that's good, because um, although we don't, maybe don't physically look alike, the, there is something that the others could connect to. Oh, the child is the father of the man, you know, I mean, they're the same character. Um, and it's not until the very end when he's got nothing that he realises, you know, his life has been a bit of a... A bit empty. It's a huge theme. The play was never meant to be performed, as far as I'm aware. It was written as a, an epic poem. So Ibsen did whatever he liked with it, you know, and he had sort of <clears throat> talking stones and uh, flying creatures through the air and all sorts of things. There's no point in doing the play again unless you're just going to sit back on what you've already done, you know. It's about taking it further and, you know, who knows where it'll go, you know, from here.